All right, who wants to give the recap? Blurf. And why is it derf? No! Oh, <laughs> I literally remember nothing. <laughs> Actually, I do remember something uh, when right. we started last time. Give exactly um, that I much I didn't realize recap. the ship even had cargo bay doors. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, that's why I had such a difficult time figuring out what to do with you. But then we got Great you guys recap, into the ship, dude. and then things happened. I remember everything. Okay, well, uh, Shell, you want to take it away? Okay. So on the last time of Shattered Planets, should I say Starfinder Shattered Planets? Or no, just, just say Shattered, shattered planets? planets. It rolls off the tongue better. Okay. On Shattered Planets. I was unconscious. And when I woke, I found myself in a, in a room made of metal, surrounded by the liches, Greg, Drez, and a new alien creature. He called himself Flurf. He's small and purple and has multiple limbs. And he showed us around his home, which happens to be a, a sentient vessel with its own AI. They seem to be able to converse with one another. Uh, who knows how? Maybe some kind of form of telepathy? Can't be certain. But he professed that he was a fisherman. Fisherman of space fish, apparently. Space fish, <laughs> apparently. I asked to rummage through his hold to see if there possibly was any specimen from my own homeworld of Nairath, and I did find one. And the ship promptly said that it could take us there. Unfortunately, you're being followed by another vessel. And, I mean, prior to that, we were looking about the, the ship and noticed that there was a bunk bed that had some scrawlings above it on the wall, and apparently Flurf is not the first Flurf. He's actually the twelfth in a long line of Flurfs, and they've all been pets, kept by the ship so that it has something to be its eyes. Uh, this also works back to the whole, like, ship thing, because... We are being shadowed by a vessel, and it turns out to be none other than the Freebooters. Pirates that supposedly Flurf had paid off with a shipment of fish, except apparently it wasn't enough. We are hailed on the intercoms, and the pirate lord stated that he wanted more of Flurf's fish. We couldn't outrun them, and were promptly swallowed up by their own vessel. After a harrowing battle, we f find ourselves with a... a... a messed up battlefield. What, there's... Tar, discarded insects, a whole host of uh, deadly explosions, you name it. But we're able to finally defeat the initial onslaught of pirates. And Flurf, at least temporarily, had control of the ship. And now we're recuperating after the fight. Yeah. Oh. Good job, everyone. We saved the fish. <laughs> 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 the what? The, the, uh, the, the... <laughs> the fish, the most important substance in this galaxy, apparently. Dirk is shaken to as his core as the only thing that matters in life is questioned. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no, Greg! We have to heal uh. him. Okay. So, Greg, ah. you wake up. Ah. You have just experienced actual death from a third-hand perspective. Oh, right. I forgot. Yeah, he had... What, he what did he killed himself. Uh, I used the, um, uh, the Glaive Axe of Wonder and oh. cast uh, Detect Thoughts on somebody that was fighting as I killed him. Right. So I got to detect the thoughts of myself stabbing myself? <laughs> oh no, you cleaved yourself in twain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh! God! Is that what I've been doing to people this whole time? What happened to you? You just fell Wait, over. You already did that joke. Huh? <laughs> that it, shit hurts. <laughs> it, it looked like you were the one clobbering the pirate. What happened? I got to feel... 
Ew, don't tell me that the ring has somehow morphed your sense of touch, too. <laughs> no, no, no. I uh, I got to see what it was like from their... Um, what's, I don't even know what the word is. Like, there's no... Perspective? There's nothing... What the hell is that? <laughs> Perspective? I'm not talking about art. Uh, anyway... I got to see what it was like to see me stab something. And I always thought it would look awesome, but it was scary and weird. I don't want to do that again. Um, Brez. Hey, Brez. What, is what does tar taste like? Huh? Uh, what does tar taste like? Yeah, all that tar. <laughs> uh, I don't believe it's edible. I, uh, you want to borrow the ring? No. <laughs> no. Anyway. I'm just making yeah. you aware of it so that you taste it on accident. The, the, oh, it worked. <laughs> oh, you suck. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the worst thing that happened to me today. You, After being killed? You have now enabled manual breathing. <laughs> After, oh, right, right. Yeah, you, this is still the worst thing that happened to me You are now thinking about your breathing and blinking. Drez, if I ever start thinking about things from somebody else's perspective, I want you to tell me to stop immediately. Because that is not productive. And it leads to, to empathy. weird feelings. Empathy? <laughs> is that the name of a it. spell? Uh, Probably. I think it is. I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> but almost certainly is. <laughs> What's it do? Well, it... You like you were saying, you get to see from someone else's perspective and and understand their motivations and their feelings. Okay, empathy. Gross. It's a level zero scion ability. You detect the surface emotion of any creature you can see that's in the powers area. Okay, so you understand what their thoughts and feelings are. Not precisely what they're feeling, but the feeling of the feeling. Um, why? Because everyone has thoughts and feelings. Don't you care about that, Greg? Everyone has thoughts and feelings? I thought you learned that several episodes ago. This is true. <laughs> well, I don't remember. Is this, is this true? <laughs> Flurf, it's you good have to thoughts know and this, feelings. It's good to know he'll just forget about any things um, he has. <laughs> I feel like a uh, hairy grape. See, what? Okay. I, uh, I I figured you felt like that on account of it being you. All right, my brain's melting, so I'm going to loot the corpses. <laughs> okay, so, Drez, Drez, you find they are, I mean, from the, like, one guy that you can reach that is not covered in a thick layer of tar. Yeah. Um, I think this is the man that you killed with centipedes. Uh, oh. So, apart from the, <laughs> from, uh, apart from the fact that he is a grisly horror, um... He is wearing some kind of armor that you've never seen before, and it kind of has this, like, distinct hum to it, <gasps> uh, which feels really weird. And he's got, like, this black stick that he was, uh, he was firing spells with. Is that power armor? I look down the hole of the black stick. Alright, it's dark. Real dark. I think it's broken. I can use my powers of empathy to look down the stick. Uh, <laughs> All right. Star Wars Greg, knowledge. Because Guys, you can that's see in the dark. You can see there's like a bunch of stuff in there. It looks really com complicated. Alarin. Emotions are complicated. That that's an inanimate object. It doesn't possess emotions unless it's something like Damien, who can't speak I at the moment. I shake the stick. All right. You're shaking a stick. No, no, no. <laughs> I think I can... I, I think I can figure this out. Uh, Give me the stick. No. I, uh. <laughs> guys, don't you My see... Stick. Don't you see the trigger there? It Doesn't it resemble a crossbow? I'm still using Star Wars knowledge to acknowledge the fact that it's a blaster, probably a rifle, <laughs> but still. Try sticking the stick into something. Maybe, maybe it goes somewhere. 
Flurf is a genius. <laughs> I tried to uh, unlock Flurf. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't stick it into me. Hey. It's a, it looks like a key. It should unlock the Flurf. Wait, there's a, there's a the locked thing over here. Outcome. There's a locked there's a locked box back in the other ship. Let's stick it in the box. That yeah. doesn't even it. Uh, it I'll use it on the fish. <laughs> okay, well, while I they play with that, things. and I hope that they don't end up incinerating hey, themselves. Hey, hey, don't damage the merchandise. I'm gonna right. check out these. So after consoles. X amount of pressing, you do eventually find the trigger. Uh, roll a die ten. All right, you shoot Flurf. <gasps> no! Yes. Roll th three die six. <laughs> it was Flirf a three me. or a seven to hit uh, Bird or, or Durf. All right, Flurf, wow, you've really been specific. shot for ten damage. Um, okay. Oh, I gotta oh, remember oh I'm how to... keeping this. I gotta remember how to do that. Uh, you take uh, my it from HP your resolve is... points. Or SP, um, sorry, stamina, stamina points. Yeah, stamina, stamina. points. Yeah, it, it's currently 130 out of 120. Shouldn't it just be 120? Yeah. Yep. You messed it up. And then now 110? Yep. Okay. Oh, um, that means it actually pinged off of your shields. So that'll come back slowly. The extra 10 HP is because you have a shield generator. Keep that in mind. Ah. Yeah. Okay, oh. well, can I look at this guy's armor? Okay, so he is wearing, uh, it's like freebooter armor or something like that. Uh, let me pull up the list. He is wearing, uh, freebooter armor... It doesn't have shoes, that means Argonians can wear it. Yeah, he's I'm wearing freebooter armor too. It gives a, uh, plus six, plus eight. So, it isn't heavy? No. Uh, it's, it's light armor. Okay, what, what's my current armor? I mean, I have three, fourteen. So it's probably better. Are yep. you talking about EAC versus? Yeah, uh, it's three EAC, eight KAC. Now, mind you, normally I wouldn't, uh, I I wouldn't go after this, but this armor is pretty messy. You're going to need to wash it before you put it on. Otherwise, you're Ew, going to. I'm not going to. Well, yeah. also, I don't want to wear grubby man, pirate armor. A man got eaten alive in that armor. Uh. Yeah, no. Okay. Uh, anything at these <laughs> consoles? eat your heart out. Okay. Literally. Uh, so, literally so I need to investigate, out. probably. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait, but we don't have investigate anymore. Uh, it's like search. Uh, I only have perception. Let me check. Is it not search uh it might it might just be perception it might have gotten we have perception jammed down yeah into yeah that one. I, we just don't have in like yeah so they've comboed a bunch of things together but it, it would be perception i think to to investigate mm -hmm. okay so you well unfortunately for starters all the consoles are dead oh yeah the main computer got fried so like they're not dead. You can get like a uh, like a command line prompt. Like it, it kind of boots, but it just remotes into the main computer, so it doesn't get anywhere. Aww. Hey, Durf. Now. Oh, Flurf. Say his name. Flurf. That's the one. Sorry, they sound so similar. Flurf. <laughs> yes. Uh, Captain Flurf, I should say. Do you know how to work with these computers? <laughs> Um, I could try, but first, chair spin. <laughs> Greg is taking notes as he wants to learn how computers work, and he is going to assume that this is a part of getting any computer to work. Oh, like he has to wind it up first, like the, yes. like the music box. Ah, or are you something? cranking up the computer? Here, Don't forget the first uh, step, which is get shot. Greg is going to do a strength check to help Flurf spin in his chair as fast as possible. <laughs> oh, no. Flurf, make a uh, fortitude save. <laughs> you are going um, really, how do I do that? You are going uncomfortably fast at this point. <laughs> uh, on your character sheet, if you scroll down to saving throws, you have Fort Ref Will. Click on Fort. Got it. All right. 
You resist nice. hurling. <laughs> awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. You get to roleplay a shaken baby. Greg is going to do another <laughs> strength check to grab the chair and pull it to a screeching halt. I mean, at this point, Flurf is probably just going to fling out of the chair. <laughs> That's my goal. Uh... Okay. <laughs> oh crap, I, I can't actually rotate my character. Craig, why are you being such a there bully? We go. What? I thought it would help him with the computer. You did that intentionally. No, he needs what? to sit at the computer. I, Flurf, if you're going up to a computer and you want it to start doing its, its meep moops or whatever, uh, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta spin in the chair first, right? Don't, uh, uh, don't, don't interrupt, uh, a, uh, a, a, a master while he's at work. How do I, um, how do I check the computer to make it do stuff? <laughs> <laughs> There's a skill <laughs> called computers. Computers, Use probably. It. There's a little dice next to computers. Really? Yep. Acrobatics, athletics, play. Oh, there computers. it is. Yep. You gotta press oh, the computer. Oh, good. Oh, good for button. you. <laughs> okay. So wow, dumb. that's a one. Man. That's that's rolling a one. Yep. Wow. <laughs> All right. This is he wearing the computer? Don't interrupt now? a master at work in <laughs> rolls a one. <laughs> so the computer decide. is totally fried, or okay. is Durf just an so, unable? Durf, you realize you've never interacted with another computer before. The only computer that you have any experience with is the one in your head. And the only way you can interact with things is by connecting with your, um, with your head. And now that you've fried the mainframe, you have no idea how to work a regular computer. So you're about as useful as Greg is in this situation. Uh, okay. Greg is staring at Flurf with rapt in t attention, though. So Flurf <laughs> oh, wants no. to maintain the illusion that he's a computer expert, and since, <laughs> since, have to since come up with something, since your 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 ship cannot connect anymore because you know the the network on the this ship is down. Yep, this this is non-functional to you. Um. Yep, it, it appears uh, to me like uh, this is this ship is just too damaged to work with. How did it get? I wonder damaged? whose fault that is. We we only battled in this one room, though. Did we hear the the blaster fire of the on it, ship? It weapons? must be the, the the tar all over the control panel. Yeah, that's it. Uh, make a. I I, I rolled my sense motive. What does that mean? You have to make a bluff check. He's suspicious. I'm, oh. I'm suspicious of you. I'm not oh, sure if I oh, believe no. you. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> All right. Greg, you can tell he has no idea what's going on. Greg is actually a little bit sad. He kind of wanted to believe. He's just going to go over here and mull about. That's, like that's, the that's molten tar. <laughs> that's tar. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, Greg... Uh, I was no, unconscious. I didn't see this shit happen. You yeah, didn't the, see the, it? What does that mean? The tar is actually cooling pretty fast at this point. Now it's just tarmac? Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's like somebody just decided to sneeze asphalt all over the bridge. <laughs> Greg um, is going to take it through like a weird uh, uh, like spa. You can't really like, get kinda... into it. You kind of just like, it, it's like trying to walk across duct tape. Like oh. the entire Ew. floor is duct tape. <laughs> oh, that must be terrible for your fur. If you lay down, fur. then when, when you try to stand back up, it's just going to rip all your fur off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ever want a bikini wax? You're going to have to uh, cut. Now's yeah. the place. Oh, no. You're going to have to cut off of the tar. hairless Greg. We don't need that. No, selectively hairless Greg. Mm. Hmm. Uh, it's just uh. be like your shoulder blades and your butt. You just have no hair. <laughs> <laughs> Are these chairs affixed to the floor? Um, yes, they are. Ah. You don't want to have moving, like, rolly chairs in a spaceship. No, I know. You start accelerating Whee! and suddenly you're going to be pressed against the back wall. 
They're called uh, inertial dampeners. Yeah. All right. Anything on the floor that I can use to get to that door? Okay. I mean, you could walk across the floor. It's going to be a strength check. Oh, I know. I can get it. I can get to the door. I have um. I have Greg's arm with me. So if I just prop that up on the floor, uh, I should uh, be able to st step on that. Okay. And uh, reach the door. it, right. So you sacrifice Greg's rotting arm <laughs> and create a, a plank Goodbye, to, my the, sweet, to the... Goodbye, my sweet. Uh, <laughs> this is the final death of Greg's arm. Yep. The, you're not, you're pro you're not going to be able to get it back without destroying bridge. it. You would have to do some seriously surgical cuts with Shell's sword. It's a to, tiny uh... flesh bridge for Fleur for a couple <laughs> minutes. Yep. So anyway, Fleur, if you get to the door and you realize it's also covered in tar, you might be able to get it open, though. Um. <laughs> Anybody else want to give it a go? I mean, I have my void saber. I'll shoot it. Okay. <laughs> uh... You, I have a gonna, new toy. You're going to have to roll to attack. You've got a fairly hefty minus to using this thing. Um, as you have never used it before. I don't know how. Let's see. Let me look it up. Oh, I, I suppose I could give it a try, actually. Ranged. I have another... Okay. That's what happens when I click my ranged button. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to figure out what the, uh, what the penalty is if you're not proficient in a weapon. Unfortunately, you're, like, ridiculously high level, so it kind of doesn't matter. So, you probably miss the door all the same. Maybe? I don't know. Whatever you hit, it didn't seem to have scored a direct enough hit to get the door open. It also looks like the door is kind of warded against... You know, small arms fire. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> okay. Wow, those are really consistent rolls. So you start <laughs> unloading this thing. Yeah, that is very consistent. <laughs> um, but by the last shot, it actually just kind of makes a, a clicky noise instead of doing anything. Ah, it's broken. Ah, oh, you broke it. I'm shaking it again. It... I think it's charged by shaking. Wait, wait, I Stop think we were supposed to it. spin it in a circle. If, uh, uh, based off of how chairs and computers work. You're right. Uh, <laughs> I start spinning while holding the, the rifle. <laughs> no, no, give it here. a rifle or a pistol? It's a, uh, it's a rifle. Take a, a, I'm going to take a step back way over here. Spin with the rifle. Now what you do is you spin it around your finger with your trigger. With the trigger. Like this. Like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to step way back This here. is like a laser rifle, by the way. So this looks real dumb. <laughs> Uh, you spin yeah, you it like you spin it. You spin it like this. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> All right. Well, he's real accurate with his spinning, but it keeps oh making. Oh my god, the rolls! Click, yeah, click, I'm, click, click, I'm click, impressed. Click. But it's just making clicking noises. <laughs> ah, damn things busted. All right, nothing uh, you say ever works. Greg's gonna use his long arms, and he's just gonna grab that door. And he's going to give it what for? With the okay. stretchy arms. <laughs> um, you start hauling it open. And actually, that's probably enough. Because the tar is only on the floor. And the only thing holding yeah. it open, it's not locked. It's just it's just hard open. So it it feels like you're trying... You're fighting against the, uh, the most industrial bubble gum ever. But you are getting it open. Uh, well, keep doing it until it pops all the way. Let's see. <laughs> so, it takes, I mean, half a minute to, like, heave it open. But you you do finally, eventually, get your way into the room uh, to find what might have been a really nice, like, bedroom kind of, like, stateroom kind of place. But somebody covered it in tar. Ooh, uh, how did it seep in here? Greg's gonna, like... Poke his head in and peer around and see if he can see anywhere where there's not tar. Uh, yeah, so the area outside of the black bounding box, there's a five-foot strip 
around the right and uh, bottom sides of the room that is not covered in tar. All right, Greg is going to swoop around, uh, like holding on to the side of the door, and he's just going to like you just swing himself through, wall. through the door frame and land on the other side of the okay. same corner. So you find you find yourself in a room. It's fairly spacious, and it looked like it might have been nice. There's kind of this oh, right, plush carpet, and uh, it it looks like you know somebody had actually like had a nice bedroom in here. There we go. For a while. Ah. All right. Well, um, everyone else do what I just did. <laughs> and teleport. Um, Oh, well, um, I don't need feet. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, somebody toss me shoes. in. Uh, I mean, I can <laughs> try. How heavy are you? Me. Sorry, what? You can't be that heavy. Okay. Nobody okay. tosses a dwarf, but anyone tosses a flurf. Oh, I, I, uh, I right. can't. I can't lift oh, him. Very good. Right. Um, yeah. So flurf, Alarin reaches forward to lift you up, and mostly just kind of like is tugging on your hair. Ouch, ouch. Oh, just, sorry. Just reach in with your expansive quadruple jointed bugbear arms. Um, I guess I'll just climb up the side. And at, this point, <laughs> at this point, you're just Mr. Fantastic. They call me Arms the Fox. I fly by s swinging my uh, freakish arms around. Alrighty. I didn't want to do this. Um, do I have to do a... a, a... No. Okay. Greg, Greg can one-arm you. You are like a basketball to him. Mm. Okay. Greg very gruffly puts Flurf down and doesn't even say you're welcome. That's traveling. <laughs> okay. <Let's laughs> of course, Drez would actually you got... know. Uh, huh. Acrobatics. Greg, for that... Oh, nice. Greg, for your assistance, you get one um, rank point in the crew, the by, ship crew. By the way, Flurf, as a reminder, your armor lets you fly for about an hour and a half. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Let's open the door. Okay. So you open the southern door. It looks kind of fancy and almost kind of hidden. Um, but uh, passive, progression, uh, passive perception is enough to find it. So it's a very small and almost featureless tube. And you're not really sure what it is. You could crawl in there if you wanted to. Dibs. Okay. It It's... It's big enough for you. It, it was. It, it's just large enough to fit that pirate captain-looking guy. Um, there is a uh, blue panel, uh, kind of hard to. Uh, it was hard to see before you hopped in, but it kind of lights up blue when you hop into it. Mm. Buttons. <laughs> Let's hope he's not going to jettison a escape pod or something. That'd be pretty bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Drez fires himself lost... into space. <gasps> I, already, I literally lost my token. <laughs> I don't know where it is. We'll find him later. <laughs> Wait, what? That was an escape pod? Yep. Water always rolls with what happens. <laughs> Better or always for worse. So Drez, Drez, as you hurtle through space, you have a pretty good view of kind of the outside of these big metal ships. They look nice. Uh, make a perception check. That button. Okay, there's a third one somewhere in the area. It's there's kind of hard ship. to tell because you're spinning, but yes, there's another uh, big metal ship in the area. Well... We'll, get, we'll deal with you in a bit. I'm finally alone. I try to use my sending stone. Is it, does Dred still have? Oh no, one? your sending stones haven't worked for ages. They haven't worked, so they really no. can't. It's probably because of Vivi. Is that really an escape pod, or was that a closet? No, that was absolutely an escape pod. <laughs> what he the said, captain? He, said, he did say it was captain shaped. Yeah, I I I didn't plan for any of you guys necessarily getting into it. I had other plans for how it was going to go. Like the captain, if you hadn't mind controlled him, would. Possibly have considered booking it if you guys were too scary. He didn't really get much of a choice on that one. What else could you expect after the rifle spin? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, 
Oh, Finally, Dres, the lizard no. man will stop eating my fish. We need to get him back. Ah. Oh. So, Flurf, you have a vague idea world? of where where Drez is currently. Your ship is watching him fly off. Um, doesn't mean I have to do anything about it. Nope, you just know where he is. Okay. <laughs> Well, um, shouldn't we fish him out? Retrieve him? Uh, the rest of the room? He can take care of himself. He's Drez. Yeah, Alarm, <laughs> you, know what, you know what Drez just hopped into. Yes, because it was the first thing that the droids hopped into before going to Tatooine. What the hell are you talking about? Let's explore the ship a little bit more, I think. Maybe there's other, uh, other goodies around here. I uh, like where Flurf is thinking. Flurf, uh. you also have a fairly uh, strong understanding that your ship can't go anywhere right now. So even if you wanted to chase after him, you are literally locked in the jaws of another spaceship. Oh, right. I'm not even lost to space. <laughs> We're inside of a ship. Well, no, Drez, you are, you you are, are in space. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Never mind. We're, We're in you're that outside ship. That's, that's, only if I, in. that's only if it was an escape pod on Durf ship. Yes. Yeah. Then it would just go ptong. <laughs> but no, you in the other direction. Um, can I uh, check to see what's? You are in the corner ahead. of a room. I better figure oh, out how to cast that room? breathing yeah, space. Yeah, sorry, okay. it's not well, obvious. Uh, if it's just a black line, there's nothing. There's nothing beyond. Uh, if there's oh, a, I, I thought that was just the um. Okay. No, I I'll have to figure out some better way of handling this. But line of sight. Uh. I can't really do line of sight better. I wave my hand in front of the door to see if it will react. Okay. Uh, no, but there's an access panel. Oh, okay. I look at it. Okay. Uh, uh, it looks like you press it. Okay. I, I press it with, with okay. my hand. You pop out into what looks to be kind of like a gunnery chamber. Uh, and it, it looks like this is, you know, meant for fighting off fighters nearby, and so, so on and so forth. Point defense. And I, you, you I, can see Drez <laughs> sailing off into the distance in the escape pod. Don't, oh, another restroom. I've been looking for one of these. Don't get any ideas, guys. Oh. Huh? Well, look, there's Drez in the distance. Oh, okay. We need to retrieve him. Greg has no, oh. still doesn't understand what guns are, really. So don't sit in the chair and But I wanna don't spin. So point it at him. Greg, as seeing as you were messing with the controls of the was it the net room? Uh yeah. you do see a very similar uh console. Oh. Yeah. Uh, what we can do is we can shoot a net out and catch him. I, I and then uh get him uh, and then get him back. Is this Greg, a net uh, though? Plomps himself down onto the uh <laughs> Uh, into the chair and <laughs> promptly starts uh, spinning in it rapidly. <laughs> uh, we'll have him back in a jiffy. Just gonna gotta get the computer turned on. Spin, 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 uh, spin. Well, uh, first... He spins like a god. We, <laughs> we don't know what this will fire. <laughs> Can you at least, you know... It fires nets. You don't know oh, that shit. though. Oh, Ow. <laughs> how do we have how do we oh. have crit fails and computer checks? Huh. Wait, wait, if he le if wait, if he learned everything he knows from Durf and Durf was a critical fail, does that mean this is a critical success? I don't know. <laughs> I don't, don't know. know. He's, he's he's crit failing what would and this emulating do? Durf. <laughs> and Durf was what, a crit explain fail. Explain <laughs> to me how you're handling this and then I'll tell you what happens. Alright. Um Greg, I, well, first off, what is it like? Is it joysticks or something? Yeah, it's it it's uh, it's two like it's two sticks, and uh, Greg starts spinning the sticks like a crank. <laughs> <laughs> Make a strength check on top of that computer's check. He just thinks every part of every computer spins. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> well. <laughs> I hmm. swear you're just co you're flipping a coin. I don't I don't know so, how I do things. I'm gonna be honest. 
How um, are you? <laughs> I think you just wait, ripped does... the gun out of the wall. <laughs> wait, 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 no! Wait, wait, does that mean they're they have exposure to outside air? Yeah, I was yeah say, now the, now you guys are in space the too. Oh, wait, can I Flurf's use? Flurf's a... buff is still going, so you're fine. But well, can I use a reflex? Save? Effect, uh, yeah, make reflex and or strength saves. Greg, you don't get one because you were too busy whirly gigging. <laughs> <laughs> we are so bad for ships. Do I do I save myself? Yeah, so Alara, you manage to duck around the door and more or less press yourself against the side while everything depressurizes. Ah! Um Flurf. Wait, what what do I have to press? Uh reflex save. Under fort there's oh. ref. Okay. That. Okay. Very good. Flurf, you join Alara around the corner. <laughs> uh, okay. Your campaign More or less. can't go off the rails if it never finds I, the rails. Wait, I, where did Flurf go? I He's right here. Uh, I sent off my mage hand to press the panel. I'm just Greg on the left side of the door. <laughs> I didn't see him at all. That ship. was weird. Okay, so anyway. I sent my mage hand to press the panel and close the door. Greg. No, wait, uh, wait. Before you close oh. it, uh, I have like a, a space suit, right? And I can fly? Oh, well, uh, yeah. can you go back? Yeah. Then? Yeah, I can try and save... Um, the, the hairy man. Yeah, save Greg. I can't do uh, anything while I. Let I'm... me figure out what gun you have now acquired, Bird. Because you oh have my a God, gun. He's flying through space <laughs> with a gun. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't he start freezing? Ha, 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 ha. Greg, 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 Greg. <laughs> he's insulated by all that mottled bloody fur. Man, this really played out so differently from the way I expected it. <laughs> Holy shit. I, I, I was, was going to shoot Dress. <laughs> yeah, I was worried that we were going to be a down a party member three episodes in. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> we, like, could uh, actually be down We Gregged it as good members. as Greg can ever Greg. Okay. So, <laughs> Greg, you have in your hands a heavy laser cannon. Okay. It does 4 die 8 damage, and you can only move five feet around with this thing. But you could potentially drag it around and use it as a weapon. It's as big All as right. you are. Alright. Oh, <laughs> shit. I'm gonna be Vulcan Raven now. Yeah. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> but that doesn't really address the more important issue, which is I'm in space. Yeah. <laughs> so, apart from the initial, like, burst of speed, you kind of are just kind of tumbling. And it's All very right. cold. Well, no, he's insulated against the cold for the next, I would say, probably 20 to 16, 16 to 20 hours. Wait, what? Durf spell. Oh, Durf spell. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot about it. Yeah, you guys are good. Speaking of, you should probably <clears throat> routinely mention every time you rest that Durf casts that. Just as a... Wait, what? Rule Did he of cast thumb. it on everyone? Yeah. He can cast it on one person per level. So, everyone. I I was not paying enough attention. I just really want to know whether or not whether or not birds flying directly into that ship. No, that's uh <laughs> that's actually the uh that's sorry. That's actually the you. bottom part of the ship you guys are on. I didn't give you guys a whole lot of room. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's a multi-level ship. And so I unfortunately see, I wanted to shoot his way in like a badass. <laughs> that would be funny. Greg, make a perception check. Oh, all right. Wait. Does, I wonder if Greg's smart enough to think of, like, propelling okay. himself back to the ship via gunfire. That's exactly what I was going to do. <laughs> okay, so Greg, you don't see anything. Uh, let's see your uh, gun use. Tricks. All right, am I near Drez at all? I don't know. No. Drez had a lot more velocity than you did. You just okay. had explosive decompression. He had explosive GTFOing. Ah, okay, gotcha. So, uh, I feel like using the gun as a jetpack is okay. the perfect combination of 20 intelligence and 10 wisdom. Yeah. So I feel like this is perfectly <laughs> in character to immediately start attempting to shoot the gun by looking for whatever trigger approximation Greg can find. Uh, now, what do I roll? Um, honestly, it'd probably be a reflex save. Okay. Okay. You, uh, you kind of managed to get kind of a ha handle on this thing. Roll three more. Oh, okay. well, there you go. You've lost your gun. Uh -huh. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> it is now hurtling a different direction. 
from you. Where am I hurtling? Uh, a different direction from it. All right. Let's just say I'm over here. <laughs> Blurf, you are watching. You are watching Greg do pirouettes as his gun <laughs> sails off in a different direction. I lost it. I let go. It's very heavy. It shot a lot of boom. Majestic. What is that? That would be the hole. The hole. Yeah. yeah in the ship. Oh. Anyway. Uh. Flurf. Are you gonna do anything, or are you just gonna close the yeah, door? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and uh, save uh, Greg with my flying ability. Okay. So you kind of have to push it a little bit, um, but you can fly out there and grab him. Okay. Do I need to do any checks for that? No, it's a jetpack. Okay. Pack. Okay. okay. So you you grab Greg as this free. Furry little jetpack creature and slowly drag him back. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, he's that's... like one of those little fish that latches onto a shark, except he's trying to pilot the shark. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> okay. So it, it takes some time, but you manage to you get manage to get Greg back on the ship. Okay. Presumably close the door. Gross is dead. Wait. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> Did you... uh, I didn't see him. Probably dead. Well, I mean, he he could have been propelled far. We we should probably find some means to locate him, either with Durf ship, well, Flurf ship, or mm -hmm. some other means. He was in an escape pod, right? So I think yeah. he's uh, he's got some life support. Yeah, at least for a time. What's over here? Uh, that's a corner. You were standing <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> it's the most interesting corner ever. There's probably a nightstand there. Both you and Flurf have perched on this thing. Ah. Okay, so do I have to dexter? Oh no, acrobatics. Around Greg the door is again. going to attempt to open this door. <laughs> okay. But that's the door uh, that. It is. Make a strength check. It. It is very heavily sealed. Arf, arf. That's a seal joke. Okay. <laughs> How stiff is the tar now? You really reach uh, You guys like could humor. walk across it. Your boots will make kind of a sticking noise, and it's considered difficult terrain. Okay. Hmm. Well, I, I still have my jetpack, so I'm just going to avoid that altogether. The ship sucks. Yeah. It's broken and dead. I'm leaving. Can I wall of water between here and swim over to the door? Sure. All right. <laughs> Durf, hopefully he gets out of the... A flurf gets out of the way in time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you cast... You create a wall of water and you swim over to the door. It is stuck closed. Completely? No, there's just tar at the bottom holding it shut. All right. Well, I take out my void saber. Okay, you just cut through the door. <laughs> Aha! And I enter the next chamber. All right. So you pop through, and almost immediately, more tar! <laughs> Ew. I traipse over it. Do I have to make strength checks or yes. something? Uh, make one. Okay. Ah! You are stuck firmly to the floor. Uh, it... Uh, help? Um, do I have to make any checks to go through that door, or just fly through? Uh, no, you were fly. flying. Okay. Uh, can you... Can you take my arms? Um... I... Uh, okay. I can Just... try. You need to get out of this stuff. I, I, I pulled Greg into the ship. I, I could probably pull you out of that. All right. Do another strength so check, I... maybe? Yeah, you gotta make a strength uh, check. P, right? Yeah. There you go. Yep, you get a Lauren out. Okay. Ah. And I assume that's the end of the room, so we just see what's beyond this door? Nope. There's, no, there's no, more. There's... Sorry. I, I just didn't way. reveal it because tar. Anyway, so there's a hallway of doors. So many. I'll oh, start my. with this one. Okay. You find another gunnery chamber. 
Nope. Getting away from that. All right. How about this one? Um, that one very clearly goes to space. It is well marked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's an airlock then. It, okay. look, it looks like that's where you uh, disembark from the ship normally. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll try this door. Okay, that door leads to a hallway. As soon as you open that door, you hear kind of a whirring sound. Uh, and that pops down from the ceiling. Ah! That, oh! It uh, is going to start shooting. Okay. So close the door, close initiative. the door. Or, or you're closing the door. Okay. All right, it misses you. Oof. That might be kind of low. Let me, let me, let me pull up a, a critter. Let me see. Everybody gave their critters melee. Any of these have uh, ranged weapons. Melee. Did, I had my audience create monsters for me, and it looks like almost everybody went with. Uh, almost everybody went with uh melee foes. <laughs> A ninja meat cube. What the hell? Ew. Ew. That's worse than spider whip. Sort uh, of. Yeah. Uh, I have a question. Huh? When I was um when I was in control of the ship for a brief period of time, yes. uh, I saw like the schematics of the ship, right? Yes. So you what, have a was the idea. main control room the thing covered uh, in tar or is there another control room? No. Um so the the main control room, uh the bridge was uh was the room that got tarred. You do know there's a manual release down in the cargo bay though. Okay. Do I know vaguely which direction that is? Uh, yeah. It would be past that turret. Damn it. Greg, <laughs> Fleur's ship is really boring. Ah, why are both ships just the worst? Greg pops back onto this ship to look in and see that nobody followed him. Um, nope. It looks like the, um, the liches, uh, you actually couldn't find the liches immediately. Huh. Hmm. <clears throat> no, I mean I'm on I'm on the other ship, not the oh, other ship. Yeah, anymore. nobody's Fort following ship. you. Looks like you guys kinda cleared it out. I mean you can see the bodies. They look yeah. horrifying. Do I notice that the other door's been opened? Yes. Oh very very obviously. You in oh, fact I forgot about that. You in fact probably hear uh Fleur shouting about close the door, close the door, and you hear gun noises. Greg sprints. He's <laughs> ready to kill. Don't don't trip. <laughs> Uh, Greg has shoes that make this not difficult terrain anymore. Yep. yep. Oh yeah, you just kind yeah. of dance straight across it. So I zoom in, run through the door, <laughs> and I guess okay. I'm staring down a gun now. Yeah, there's a gun on the ceiling. It is, uh, roll for initiative. Yeah! Alright, so you get a, you are ready, <laughs> it is not. Oh, uh, boy, oh, it. boy, oh, How are boy, you oh, rolling boy. like this today? I don't know. Isn't I don't know, always? man. Because that was a nat 1 and then two nat 20s in a row, I believe. Yep. Or, That's why no, the, no, sorry. So nat 1, nat 20, some regular rolls, another nat 1, then another nat 20. All right. Anyway, uh, so it is straight up your turn. Uh, let's see. Alaren goes after... What about and Drez? What are we gonna do with him? He, he's gone. Yeah, can you fly it real fast in space? You need your ship back if you guys want to get Drez. Yeah. Uh, I mean, is there anything that Drez can do in his lonely escape pod? Uh, no. Oh, there's lots of gross. Things. Well, there might be, but <laughs> he's gonna have to start pressing <laughs> buttons before he can do anything. But Rape also spiders. Yeah. <laughs> you're enclosed in a tube and you're gonna just use whip of spiders all right I, canonically i'm keeping with that you've you've just covered yourself in spiders that was because definitely uh, a joke that doesn't uh, even make sense well uh, you did it 
you are no longer lonely, but you do question your actions a little. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got the space madness. Um, the uh, we'll get to what happens and with your whip of spiders in a bit. Um, anyway, so Greg, what do you do? Flurf, you should roll initiative, unless you're just grapple this one out. the gun. Oh, um, you're grappling I'm... the gun. Okay, you want to tear it off? sure. Uh, I... you you grab it. I forget how to roll initiative. It's sort of in the middle of the sheet. It should have been up by strength and everything. You should else. be able to do like control F. Um. Anyway, does this thing even have a strength? Nope, it doesn't. All right. <sighs> roll. Oh. Oh. I see it. There you go. Oh. Um. Huh. That's weird. It didn't affect your initiative. Maybe have your character selected next time you, um, you roll. Oh, okay. It's not a big deal, but it, it should automatically pull from this. And I'm not entirely sure why it didn't. How do you guys get um, your initiative to correlate with your turn order? Does it just happen uh, automatically, or do you have to have your character? Yeah. Okay, weird. Um, all right, fine. So, Alarn, it's your turn. You see more or less Greg leap up and start trying to tear the, uh, the turret off. Okay. Well, I took feats that allow me to move and cast spells and such. Okay, so what are you going to do? I'm definitely okay. just eating the spiders, by the way. Oh, yeah, he's a lizard. It's not even gross to him. <laughs> no, I'm from a swamp, yeah. and I'm immune to poison. <laughs> I'm a no, natural no predator to spiders. No fur to get the bugs <laughs> stuck in. He's just eating the spiders, <laughs> lapping them up one by one. Yeah, right. it's, like, it's like nerd's rope. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I don't want to think about this. It's Why? a spider's kebab. <laughs> okay, Greg. It's the eight-legged special. Well, no, Alarn, what are you or doing? the 128-legged special. Uh. Okay. <laughs> well, me, because I'm all the way back uh. here, I'm going to do the Eldritch Blast sort of maneuver. Okay. So I suppose I just do it ranged like this, right? Yeah. Baju, baju. Okay. Yep. Try, roll damage. Try a new nerd's rope with spiders. <laughs> <laughs> Worst Halloween idea. <laughs> Shell. Yeah. I did them. Yeah, I know. Roll damage. Oh. You, you really should roll the attack. Instead of hitting the ranged attack button, you should set it up as a weapon on your character sheet. Oh, I do have the weapons over then here. Then you should do that in the future. Okay, so do I roll this then? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you only roll it... Well, no, I guess you do... You do you're attacking twice. Right, so remember, that's what the blast you're, does. You're, no, your Eldritch Blast does not attack twice anymore. Oh, it the doesn't? The rules changed. Oh. You should look up what Eldritch Blast does. Actually, it's not even Eldritch Blast anymore. You're... Uh, your void saber is really the only thing that kind of matters here. Um, so what it, what is what it is is you're just attacking twice with the thing, um, which each attack comes at a, a minus four penalty, uh, but that still ends up being you know uh, plus eight. Just so you're aware. Okay. I just want to make sure that you do. I have to make some adjustments, or are you no. saying that I should only that, attack that's once? That's just how this works. Okay. You don't have to make any changes. It's just so that you're aware of how these mechanics work. Anyway, so you kind of leave a massive hole in the thing. It looks pretty bad. Greg, uh, or I guess Flurf, it's your turn. Flurf, you do have um, a gun. You have weapons. You yeah. have things that you can do. Uh, ah. I was thinking of also shooting at it. Okay. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I tried to specifically for, avoiding I, for the parts that Greg isn't holding on to. Yep. I tried Look. to search whether anyone ever drew Whip of Spiders, and instead I found images of the Whip Spider, and it's awful. <laughs> the worst kind of spider. 
A hmm. whip spider. Oh, it's the one with the legs that are bendable, Can, can right? we not f talk about spiders, okay? <laughs> 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 what are all those tar squiggles up there? Are they spiders? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. So I, I rolled a, uh, the it dice has... button that's next to my weapon. Uh, yeah. Hands? Bam! It looks like it has okay. little hands. So, uh, Flurf, you shoot the thing. Uh, yep, you hit. Um... I Which shot the thing. Damage is... It only has, like, 5 HP left. Greg, you more or less have more chunk of metal than turret at this point. What are you gonna do? Actually, no. I guess I guess it, it is its turn. It's gonna try and shoot Shell, just because it doesn't have much anything left. <laughs> it misses. Greg, what are your plans for this thing? <laughs> Oh. All right, you swing from it like a monkey. <laughs> Into a wall or what? No, you just, you look like you're having a good time. Why won't <laughs> you die? This is fun. All right. <laughs> Alara, it's your turn. Greg seems to be goofing around or monkeying, <laughs> shall we say. Monkeying about. Yeah. All right, well, I will go forward and I will try to sever this thing from its uh, connection to the ceiling. Okay. Zing. It it that's it. And they probably all toppled to the ground. Yeah. Dog. So Greg Greg, you have a completely destroyed turret in your hands. Greg attempts to shoot it. Okay. It uh falls apart in your fingers. Oh does it? Oh. At, le at least it no. wow. I'm not did sure. You really just did you really just nat one your attack roll again? Huh. Oh no. <laughs> I How don't, do you do that? Did it you does, shoot a hole in the ship's hole again? does something worse, <laughs> and I'm not sure what it would do. Did you put another hole Blow in the up. ship's hole? I'm pretty sure it blows Electrocute up. Electrocute him? Yeah, it probably blows up in your face. <laughs> make, <laughs> make a reflex save. Okay, should I do that too, since I'm right yeah. next to him? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I hop the tip of the gun over to Flurf? <laughs> Oh you alley-oop in at the great flavor. No! For Flurf. Creature. It's Flurf, a make a reflex oh save. I swear to God, it's a fucking coin. <laughs> <laughs> How? I don't Why? Know, I don't know, man. The gun is probably the size bigger than me. Yeah. What am I supposed to do with make it? Make a reflex save. Be under it. <laughs> Dodge. Oh, my nose You're is trying to run. <laughs> 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 All right, so Durf, you catch the the flying turret with both hands. You stare at it for about I don't know, has like three seconds before it explodes in your face. Um. Your shield generator eats the damage. You are unharmed. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, great. I like the idea that Flurf <laughs> can get away with just not reacting to anything because he just, throughout all of his life, his problems are just solved by shield generators and an AI ship. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. You throw him an exploding weapon, he's like, huh. <laughs> and then it just blows up. And he's like happens. a dodo. Aww. He has no survival sense. <laughs> Damn, do I ever appreciate Damn. that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, Flurf is miraculously unharmed after that series of events. <laughs> <laughs> We're all unharmed. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's something else. <laughs> <laughs> I am impressed. Um, however, Greg, you see there is a staircase leading downwards at the end of the hall. And a couple more doors. Ah, leading the way. Just as Greg always intended to. Yeah, I'm gonna... Get that turret out of there. That that does not exist anymore. <laughs> but we got our mileage out of it. All right, well... Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do we try out these doors, too? Ah! All right. Okay, let's open so this up. So you try these doors, too. You find more gunnery turrets. It looks like this ship is relatively well-armed. Hmm. Well, they, they have to use a show of strength in order to intimidate smaller ships into giving them fish, right, Flurf? 
Oh. That's right. Look, Greg, you can take another gun for yourself. No, I'm just gonna step Please over here. Don't compromise the hull again. <laughs> I don't compromise with anything. <laughs> All right, what's down these stairs? Okay, so you head down the stairs, and you enter out into a very small room over here. If you want to just drag yourself over. What? Uh, where? Where's the small room? On the right. Zoom out a bit. Oh, you mean you're going? I'm going onto another level of the ship. Yep, it's stairs. Ah, I see. And you put them side by side. Yep. And are these stairs going back up, or are they going down further? No, those are the stairs you just came down. Okay, they're just shaded. I, I'm sorry, I did not rotate the stairs okay. accordingly. So we just have this door. Your sins yes. are forgiven. Okay. So are you going to open the door, I assume? Yeah, sure. Okay. So you open the door, and almost immediately you hear a telltale whirring noise. Ah, huh, like, an, like an engine room, or what? No. Oh, turrets. the turret again. Yeah, like several turrets moving to shoot at you. Oh! Greg, more second. toys! Can, can I... Create an illusion? Nope. Roll for initiative. Then you can create an illusion. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay, let me let me reveal this. So uh, you walk like into a room that is more uh is half bodies, half cargo, and a couple of turrets. There's a bunch a of dead pirates. Three turrets. God. Ah. Uh, How do I do it? Um How does he do it? Nobody knows. Okay, so have you guys rolled for initiative? Oh, this sounds yep. like a good uh, one wow. for a target. How? How? I don't, How? It's not even, I How? can't even laugh about it. God uh, damn it. Uh, How? <laughs> <laughs> Misery okay. loves company. Adding, the, adding flurf. What the um, fuck? Is only yeah, it's only getting move. better. I Clearly, we need to get another thing dice. of wonder. We, we need to get another thing of wonder for flurf just, just to round it out. How did you guys hack... How did you hack roll 20? I don't know. <laughs> All right. I... So, Greg, you hear turrets. Well, Greg has learned from his previous uh, shenanigans and has decided to start glaive axing. So he's going to run in and just uh, throw up a wallop and probably not hit. Uh, no, that misses. All right, well, it would have done. It would have been sweet if it did hit. That's basically all, right. all I can do. And they are nine. going to. Jeez, oh, probably two of them are going to shoot at you, and one of them is going to shoot at Shell. I'll start with you, I guess. Let's see, roll die. One, two, complete misses. Three for Shell. F I, I give up. Wow, I what guess a lame I, fight. Yeah, you guys are a coin flip, and I'm living in the land of mediocrity. Well, it's easy <laughs> for you guys. Alaren, it's your turn. You kind of didn't really get shot at. Yeah. These guys are worse than stormtroopers. Oh, yeah. They seem to be <laughs> wielding the same guns, too. <laughs> Stop that Alaren. Blast her. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, the problem is, now my allies are in the room, will the turrets be able to distinguish between a false image and them? I might as well try it. I'll create a major image that's sort of like a duplicate of myself. Okay. And I will have it rush out into the room. Okay, uh, here, give me a second. Uh, advanced, flip horizontal. Okay, with this weird horror monster runs out <laughs> into the room. Whee! <laughs> it is uh, scary. <laughs> flip the Lauren. It it looks like uh somebody took like the half of your half of you and then mirror imaged it, and it's like running out, and its limbs are a little extra floppy, and you're like, mm -hmm. uh. yeah. yeah. It can it, okay. I can appear in Something a spot, to you, and Lauren. it sounds, smells, and the temperature is appropriate. 
So if these things are heat sensors, then they're going to get fooled by it. Hmm. Can... Greg, I think something's wrong with Alaron. Ah! <laughs> Let me see. Uh Ah. Hmm? There's I don't know if there's a rule. Do illusions affect technological things? Well, it depends on if they're targeting systems are purely visual heat or what. Cuz this is a major illusion, so it can it can exude heat. Um, Android. Let me see if I can look this up. I mean, I'm assuming as such. Yeah, I sure. Why not? We'll just treat it as a hologram. I I guess. Anyway, uh, so it it runs out into the room. Flurf, it's your turn. Um. Question is is checking uh, what these crates contain. Is that gonna like use up my turn? <laughs> yes, very much so. In the middle of battle. Um, all right, and I'll I'll scurry over to this gun over here and try to redirect it to the turret uh, up above, top left corner. You, uh, so are you gonna like fly up to it and try and rewire it? Does he have hacking? Yes. 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 Yeah, I guess they would have their own computer. So yeah, you can hack these things. Um, what do I need to roll for that? Computer. Computer. Um, that's. I don't know if that... that's not enough. No. I mean, I mm. got to give you a bit of a challenge. You literally rolled a three and you got a twenty-two. These things are a bit tougher to hack. I gotta adjust my DCs, because yeah, 22 would be high in certain campaigns and levels. Not this, but yeah, it looks like this thing has a bit more of a robust security package. And you really aced the mainframe earlier. Anywho, um, Greg, it's your turn. Ah. Okay, you, um, <laughs> you take a chunk out of it. Oh, there you are. Let me put the corpse underneath you. There you go. Oh, right. I forgot how extra attacks work. I have to declare. Yes. I'm going to do it, right? Yep. All right. Well, we'll do that next time. Okay. And they're going to... Be mediocre. <laughs> Is that the same rolls as last time? Yeah, just in reverse. Holy shit, yeah. roll up. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Eight, six, 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 eight. Uh, Lauren. Mm hmm They missed. They were trying to hit... Well, they were trying <laughs> to shoot at Flurf, Greg, and your illusion, and they couldn't even hit your illusion, which seems to be making a, um... You know those, like, uh, inflatable, like, arm-wavy dudes? Yeah. I'm assuming that's what your illusion's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out she's real good at dodging bullets. What do you do? All right. I will do some more blasts. Uh, so you, you said that if I do it once, it doesn't get the penalty, and then it's a negative four for two? Was it? Um, yeah. Okay, well, I'll shoot at the one in the corner. Okay. Upper corner. You miss. Ah. All right. Flurf, it's your turn. Um, um, mind you, you cannot hack the same thing twice. Yeah, I, I think I was maybe gonna try and um, brute force that, like okay. uh, move it to point in the right direction. Oh, you're gonna try and strength check it. Okay, make uh, a strength check to force a, a turret to aim at a thing. Yeah. Well, I figure my my little body has some leverage. I can get right up on in there. The turret turns and okay. just drags him. So you start wrestling the turret. We'll see what happens on its turn. <laughs> okay. Because um, it, it can't break your grapple. You're effectively grappling it. It just can choose to ignore you. Greg, it's your turn. Oh. 
<laughs> All right. Ah, I'm going to use my extra attack. This will be a minus four to hit. Okay. Yeah. Not bad. And this is number two. All right. You uh, hit with uh, you hit with the first. You miss with the second, but you blow up the turret. And then the other ones are going to start shooting. So, well, no, one of them is. Uh, Alaren, your your weird clone continues to dodge all hits. <laughs> and Flurf, uh, it is going to... You're going to have to make a, uh, a second strength check. Okay. All right. You manage to uh, crank it in the right direction of the other turret. It does not fire, but it doesn't shoot at anybody. Oh. You you have a vague idea it probably has some kind of, you know, uh IFF tag thing and it's not going to shoot another turret unless you hack it, but it won't yeah. shoot at the other turret and therefore won't shoot at anybody. Okay. Lauren, it's your turn. Okay. I can probably cast a spell so long as it isn't concentration like major image. And I will do it. Oops, I just realized that I didn't have the computer plugged in. I'll need to get that done. And I'll just do shatter. Okay. Uh, is that it makes a save? Uh, constitution. Okay. I don't know if this thing has. Nope. Oh, so it'd be a fortitude save. Well, it saved. It uh, it seems to be kind of solidly placed. Okay, well then it'll take. No, it rolled a nat twenty. Oh, Flurf, yeah. you are wrestling the turret until you choose otherwise. Greg, it's your turn. Uh, Unless you want to do something else. Well, I mean, since I'm up here, I might as well. Uh, jam a gun up its butt. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this will stop the grapple. You won't be able to force it and shoot it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I'm... Okay. Okay. Unless I'm... I, I have not writ a, written... A, uh, eh. I have not read my... I mean, oh. I have enough arms to hold on to it. And no, actually, gun. no. You make a strength check to shoot it. Uh, strength check? Yep. Okay. Well, you can shoot it. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Effectively, every turn, you, your turn and its turn, you both make uh, opposed strength checks. And uh, okay, to see if I like hold on to it. Yeah. Let me look up right, grapple. So then the yeah, gun. Keep going. Yes. Okay, and you shoot it. Pow! 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 Let me look up. Grapple. Okay. Grapple. As a standard action, you attempt to grapple a foe, hindering its combat action actions. If you do not have improved grapple, grabber's similar ability attempting to grapple a foe provokes an attack of opportunity. Oh, I didn't realize that. All right. Well, we'll roll back and see if it shot you. The answer is it actually did. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So it had shot you before all this, but whatever. We'll leave that in a second. <laughs> right. oh. Um. If you successfully grapple a creature that's not adjacent to you, move... Okay. Um, let's see. You can, as the creature that initiated the grapple, release the grapple as a free action, removing the condition from both you and the target. If you do not release the grapple, you must continue to make a check each round as a standard action to maintain the hold. If your target does not break the grapple, you get a plus five bonus on grapple checks against the same target in subsequent rounds. Once you are grappling opponents, successful check allows you to continue grappling a foe and allows you to perform one of the following actions as part of the grapple. Move damage, uh, so you shooting with your spare arm is fine, and you can't pin, tie up, or anything like that. Okay, but it did shoot you. I forgot, or I didn't know that it would do that. Anyway. Okay, so how, how much uh, damage? How much damage? Okay. You take 11 damage, which your shield generator, I think, had only recovered 4 HP. So you take 7, and you're on fire. 
Uh, that's from my SP? Yes. And since that was like a round ago, you take an additional... How did that happen? It rolled How? ones How? on all of what? them. Wait. No. What? What? I yeah. don't know. <laughs> what? What ghost in the machine is dicking with us today? In the, no, in this entire campaign. All the four I don't. Wars? I choose... I... 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 <laughs> Uh, one door. You know what? So what no, does that mean? I'm going to go take a shot of rum. Six ones in a if, row. If there's ever been a point where I deserve What's a shot of rum, What's the probability of that? There's a mathematical way to calculate that. Yeah, uh, somebody yeah. calculate the odds of that because it's real. Low. I mean, it's uh, 0. 0.25. Times. Sword, those are d4s, right? Yeah, those are die fours. Yeah, so okay. it's 0.25. Wow. Just four to the power of six, right? Yeah, no, 0. 0. 0.4, 0. 0.25 to the power of six. That doesn't. That oh wait no no we can't, no no it's not that it's not that wait man I wish I remembered oh, all my probabilities calculations oh, oh. god it is point two five to the power of six so what's the chance absurdly low <laughs> god damn like, we have so much rum. That can't that that has to be a glitch. I mean, that's <laughs> that's like a that's like a one in ten thousand chance of happening. Uh, it's just four to the power of six, right? That's what it's I point, thought. Point two five to the power of six. But it's like one out of the four. Uh, it's four thousand ninety six. Yeah, yeah. One. So one out of four thousand ninety six chance. Wow, According that's got to be a computer glitch. Chances. There's no way. There's no way that that's that's the case. Yeah, that we get uh, six ones in a row. But so the thing that Bird said and the thing that we said is actually the same ratio. I right. don't know how. Yeah, no, it's the same thing. It, it both both is correct. It's just yeah. which angle you're approaching from. Jeez, I just, can't right, just got it. back well, in reality. I have collapsed. I have poured I just some. Can't my, believe it. I have poured myself some rum to celebrate the chances of that. Let's continue on. Really? Why are you drinking our the the weird? Bitter if rum. there's ever a point where you're supposed to take a shot of rum for something wild happening, I'd almost say yeah. that. Yeah. We witnessed a 1 in 4,000 chance of that. I don't... I, don't, I, uh, I mean, yeah. now's your time to buy a lottery ticket. Your, uh, your luck's only going to get better. No. Right? No. <laughs> yes. Whereas Bird's taking a shot to celebrate that it's been another 60 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I actually uh, am totally boozeless at the moment. Well then, because I finished it all earlier. You want some of mine? Rum is real gross. <laughs> you gotta throw it real far, but I'll try to catch it. <laughs> we uh, were only using it to cook Caribbean banana curry. We used like I want to say a twentieth of a handle, and then it's just been sitting in our fridge for like half a year. Ew. I mean, it's rum. It's not like rum goes bad. Yeah, but I mean. Didn't make any more banana curry? No, we probably should. Anyway, uh, so you shot it. All right, uh, Drez, it's not your turn. Greg, it's your turn. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, double extra attack. Yeah, it's it's Drez's Minus turn four. somewhere. All right, well, wow. Well, right. I was expecting Drez to get captured or something. Whip it around in the air a bunch. Yeah, you just kind of you're you're like. You're like the kid with the um the stick trying to hit the pinata that's just a bit too high, <laughs> eh, eh, yeah. eh, which eh, is really ah, funny because ah. you're ridiculously tall and have really long arms. So I my <laughs> assumption is you're like trying to elbow the thing instead, and it's not working. Yeah. Uh, Lauren. Oh wait, no, it's their turn. Sorry. Yep. Uh, Flurf, make a strength check. Okay. All right. Uh. Rez has developed a new recipe, popcorn spiders. <laughs> Ew. All of all of their abdomens. Come on down to Popeye's get all popcorn spiders. Puffy. Like popcorn. Okay, right. I was still looking up grappling. It's like for it's a like second. the it's like it's like deep fried breaded calamari, except they're spiders. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna be totally honest. If you keep talking about this, I'm just gonna start actually fabricating uh <laughs> like bad things to happen to Drez. Oh no. <laughs> he really dislikes spiders. Yeah. Let's see. 
especially of the space variety. So okay. I'm like thrown from the Give from, me a from second. the turret. Uh, combat okay. maneuvers. I just wanted to look up how a combat maneuver is. Combat b maneuver. Okay, so it's your base attack bonus plus your strength. So I've been rolling this off. So Durf, uh, from now on, roll a uh, a melee attack uh, at a minus two. So can you roll that now? From now uh, on, whenever just, whenever just spiders look for your come melee up, bonus. they're just spooters instead. Okay. So every single time, it'll I just click be melee. lost spider's face. <laughs> Was I supposed to do anything with my like how? Uh, like, so look at your character sheet. Yeah. Um, do you know where your fort reflex and will is? Yes. Just below that is melee ranged and thrown. Yeah, I, I clicked melee. Okay. Uh, I missed that. Okay, there you go. And so, uh, you're just gonna have to mention that you have the minus two, uh, and then it is going to attempt to resist. Wait, yeah, wait, what's the it, minus two thing? Do I put because it like, you're in, in misc or something? You're, you're a small person, so your your abilities are uh, less. Why does this thing have a higher melee than range? It's. I'm definitely going to forget about that minus two thing. I'll try and remember. I mean, it should be obvious. Anyway. Okay. Oh, I guess it's actually a plus three because you've got a plus five circumstance anyway whoops that's too much anyway it throws you off okay uh let's see whoa so that's that's its turn uh alarin it's your turn your illusion has gotten shot and has disappeared oh they, it can do that uh well i mean it's it it shot it and realized that it took no damage, and then has moved on to aim at Greg, probably. Or you. I don't know. Okay. I might well, get some <laughs> oh, lemonade to put in this or something. Now, um, can I use one of these boxes as I could cover? Yes. I feel the, uh, like, the, uh, of yeah. that rum through your it, voice just now. <laughs> it, it, uh, it is coating my throat, and it is burning a little. But not in the yeah, good I can, burning, I can it's just the, the burn. boozy burning. Yep. <sighs> okay. Okay, um, so I'll run over there and I'll try to blast it at close range. Yep. So I should just use the yeah. lightsaber ability. Yeah, so you have a small uh, bonus. I'll look up how cover works. Woo! Okay, so you do, you do hit the thing for 29 damage. I think that's actually the first hit. All right, Flurf, you've been thrown thrown off the turret, or more per se. Wait, yeah, yeah, it, it broke the grapple. That's what it wanted to do. Okay. Um, cover. I'm gonna. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I'll just shoot it. Okay, you hit for 16. And Greg, it's your turn. Oh, I'm going to do the same thing I've always done. <laughs> oh. Miss? No? Well, you got him with that second one. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a minus four to hit, though, because it's an extra. Oh, attack. then you don't. You very yep. much don't. All right. It's going to shoot well, back. See you in five minutes. At Shell. Uh, Shell, you get hit. Oh. Even behind cover? Yeah. Uh, what's your armor class? You have a plus two bonus to your AC. AC. I see EAC and it's K. E. Okay. I have 16 plus... Oh, well, if I have a 16... Yeah, it hits you. You do not exactly have the right armor for this kind of situation. Oh, it's a plus 10? Yeah. They get a plus 10 to that? Wow. So you take, uh, you take 10 damage. Okay, and that comes off of stamina. Yep. All right, and then Flurf, the one that was tangling with you, is going to try and... Well, all right. Alarn, it's your turn. Okay, well... I suppose I'll hit it again. Magic hasn't really seemed to work on these things. Okay, uh, that's one hit. I assume that was it. I mean, you told me that if I did a second attack, it would get Yeah, it would be at the minus four. 
Uh, Does see. that only work for the, that attack or the first attack as well? Uh, both. It's both. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah, both. that would be bad. All right. And Flurf, it's your turn. I guess I'll just keep shooting at this thing until okay. it uh, goes kaput. Yeah. You're plinking away at it. Don't worry. Things will get better, maybe. Greg, it's your turn. <laughs> uh, Gray Sky's gonna clear up. Let's hit the turret twice. All right. There you, we go. Uh, in fact, you wreck it with the first hit. That's a minus four, though. Oh, never mind. You wreck it with the second hit. <laughs> so kill all the turrets today. All right. And the other one is going to probably keep shooting at Flurf. It's. Okay, uh, right. How much damage is that? Uh, let's see. Thir you take 18 damage and you're still on fire. So you take an additional 5. Or you take 18 damage total. Okay. Uh, let's see. And... Alarin, it's your turn. Okay. So we just have that one remaining turret, correct? Yes. Oh. Uh... I mean, I could bolster someone, or I could just attack it. Eh, we've been plunking away at it. I'll just attack. Oh, that's nice. All right. Yep. Uh, let's see. That's yeah, damage. It is. It's smoking. Larf, it's your turn. Um. Okay. Another shot. All right, and that's enough to finish it off. All right, it falls silent. Man, wow. combat is dull when none of you guys roll that. Yeah, ones, that was or not twenty. That was everyone was just whiffing at each other for well, like the other thing twenty too is minutes there. Their machines and their turrets at that. They yeah. don't really have a personality or. I mean, they're kind of dangerous because they set you on fire. Uh, Durf, you were still burning, by the way. Oh. I I use another wall of water to douse him. How many of those do you have? I mean, I have a number of <laughs> spells per day. Fair enough. Okay. Boy, is combat dull when nobody does anything interesting. Maybe it's just because Drez, Drez isn't around. He threw himself off into space. Which begs the question, will the party actually manage to retrieve him, or is he just going to fly off into a sun or something and Drez the Destroyer will become Drez the... Well, destroyed, I guess. Probably not. That would be kind of a dick move on my part. I guess you'll have to figure out how they retrieve him on the next episode of Shattered Planets. I almost said Grave of Ban. That's going to take some time to get used to.